What's going on guys? This is Jalen here with Texas Lunch and Dinner. Sorry for the re-upload on this video. I found a little default setting bug that was causing the IMAX to boot up slowly. It was taking them really about a minute, so let's go ahead and see uh, how much faster it is. So on the left side it's the i5, on the right side it's the i7. Looks like they're just about even right now. And it looks like the i7 pulls ahead and the i7 does boot up faster. So this is about 18 seconds for the i7. Uh, like I said, it took about a minute yesterday. So let's go ahead and uh, jump to the fix if you guys are having the same problem. Now I've heard of this problem on the 2009 and 2010 iMacs. Uh, what happens is there's no startup that's selected. So what it does is it keeps spinning uh, and it searches for what to boot up for. So it doesn't know what exactly to boot up from. Uh, and that explains how long it takes. So if it takes longer than 30 seconds for your iMac to boot up, go to System Preferences. Go to startup disk and make sure that the startup disk is selected. Uh, if there's nothing selected, chances are that's the main problem of why your iMac is booting up. So I just wanted to post this little quick fix for you guys. Uh, it took mine really from about a minute down to about 20 seconds. Uh, I think it was like 18 on my i7 and then it was about 23, 24 on the i5. So helps me. I hope it helped you guys and I'll catch you guys later.